Oh my gosh, I can see Miss Vaskin. Oh, good. How cool is that? So we're doing the 4.6 Calliometry um, packet, like the reading guide packet thing. Yeah, the actual the actual okay. section. We're gonna do a, just a couple of questions. Okay. Cool. Can you, you can see me. Yes. I don't know how to turn my camera. Girl, on. you're dumb, but fabulous setup wasn't talking to you. <laughs> you shut up. Hey, I see you now. How you doing? A very nice bonnet. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Oh, how are you on the high heel bell? I need answers. Um. <laughs> you don't know how to unmute this thing. You want it's at the bottom left. I mean, bottom yeah, bottom left hand corner. Oh, sure. know, what are we doing? I knew how to unmute it. I muted myself on purpose. Mm. Oh, thank Hi, you. Kayla. Hi, Kayla. What are we doing? Oh my god, hi. Oh my god, look at everybody here. This is so exciting. Oh, hi, it's Shira. Hi, who said that? I want to find you. Yeah, figure out how to, how to do the, the, the Padlet thing. So I'm just going to tell you guys I'm hungry and tired, okay? Yeah, wait, what is, what is the Padlet? I don't know how to send the What's Padlet. The link? Cause I can't find it. Wait, no, so it's, it's, it's in the chat link thing. Yeah, yeah. I just oh. put it in again for those people who and just got added. And you have to right. press the uh the no, plus. How do I like send it? Because I always do it plus on my button. Come on. Plus button on the right hand yeah, side. You just find this guy. No, I don't know where the chat. No, button I press the button and then I type it. But how do I send it? Two point five seconds. They should all be in here. Chat to multiple people. Oh, cool. I never sent. I don't know how it said. It's right there. Oh my gosh. Okay. This. Uh, Y'all get loud. Yeah, I don't know how to respond. Okay, give me just another couple of minutes to finish checking everybody in. All right, Bridget's with us now. Why is everyone's face changing? All right. Are we supposed to have 4.6 or 4.7? 4.6. 4.7, we did a long time ago. Ms. Baskins. Do you see our private messages that we're sending in the chat? Um, no. Oh, cool. I only see messages sent exactly to me or anything that's sent to everyone. That's it. You could have just lied and said that you didn't, but to your honesty. I could have. But I feel like you guys would have started sending extra weird stuff just because. Ms. Baskin. Yes. Did you ever? Did you ever? Is that the one that you? My put? skin is now black. Like, did I ever what? That's the. Is that the one that you took? The very last one, four point six. Four point six is the very last section. It's the one that you were <laughs> whining and confused about. <laughs> I don't know where that is, Miss Baskin. Yeah. That's all of them. No, shut up. <laughs> I don't know where that is. If it's laggy, is that me or you? <laughs> okay, I'm in. I had to use my mom's phone because the tablet wasn't working. <laughs> Understood. Okay. Okay. So it's somewhere in here, but I don't know where. This okay. basket, I can't see it anymore. I can't see it anymore. I don't know where it went. I can't get my video on, but I, I can get it on. That's okay. All right, I'm going to be all yes. I'm sorry. What are we supposed to begin? <laughs> We're going to be getting 4.6, but hold on. I'm going to mute everybody. All right. 
So unless I'm crazy, uh, I don't see Sunia in here who emailed me earlier. I don't see Sophia in here. I don't see Shamir. And if you are in here, by all means, make yourself known. Uh, Shayla emailed me earlier, so I know she's not here. Jayla McKay, I don't see. Uh, Maggie, I don't see. And Jada Spriggs, I don't see. But if any of you people are here, by all means, make yourself known. May I right. share the video to Jada? Oh, it, this is being recorded, so um, I'll just, I'll post it on YouTube later. So. But isn't it for our grade, if we're here? So, because some people have um, conflicts, like that they, some people are not able to watch. Uh, I know somebody's got childcare right now that they're having to do, um, but you can watch it later and then just uh, check in with me um, during my office hours. So for the people who that's their issue, that's taken care of that way. So, um, okay. Oh, how do I share screens with my phone? Wait, you wanna share? So yeah. if you share screen, it'll share what's on your phone. Okay. That's, so I, you don't wanna do that. Okay, cool. Cause we don't all wanna see what's on your phone. <laughs> so, um, hungry. Yeah, okay. So here's, here's a question for everybody. Um, You're frozen. I'm frozen? Aw. I mean, I'm pretty chill, but. Um, okay, so. Everything is frozen. Well, that's okay. Just, it'll come back <laughs> at some point. I think that. The internet just gets kind of overwhelmed. Okay, um, so is anybody else's classes doing this? <laughs> yeah. Mr. Mr. Freud is trying. Yeah, the feeder department. Just, just I just left department. Mr. Freud. Okay. Okay. My class is doing it, but... I just, I just left the bus. And I'm, and I'm not sure if Ms. Collard is also doing it, but... No, she's she not Google Classroom. Right, okay. Yeah, but Miss Bas Baskin, can I ask a question? Yes. Okay, so I left. I brought everything with me except for my periodic table, my mole map, and my ion chart. So could you send out like PDFs of those? Yes, I can get those to you. <laughs> Yay, thank you. Yay. Um, okay, so is anybody else actually hosting a live class like this, or is it more just like office hours? Is it more just kind of checking in? Is it phone calls? Like, what are we doing? So, um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Freund is planning on doing like scheduled class times, like the time he usually has his class for each period. That's going like in April though, but right now he's just trying to like get everybody acclimated to the whole Zoom thing, people who haven't used it before. Okay. Yeah, um, I think, right now like so today we're going we're supposed to have like a meeting to figure out what's happening like theater wise and then tomorrow we're supposed to have like classes with all of our individual theater teachers which is which is cool i guess like i don't know what like we're doing exactly but we're zooming we, we zoom in, you know, you know yeah. you're in a room of bodies and it's weird moya but we love <laughs> it's a wig you room. okay don't judge me don't judge me <laughs> okay um, all right, well, clearly this is going to take a lot more coordination on um, our part as, uh, as adults, um, which is frustrating because um, yes, sister, I tried <laughs> to coordinate and nobody responded to me. So that's why I, I don't know. I'm holding my class first. That's all I know. Okay. <laughs> so we'll we'll go from there um all right so we've got half an hour left because i don't think we need to have anything longer than 45 minute classes if we're totally honest um that is really all that's needed um for this kind of for this kind of thing with what we're doing 
um, especially since they took away testing and other things like that. Uh, I normally get way slowed down during park and I don't have to worry about that this year. So there we go. Okay. So we've done a little check-in. I wanted to do a quick overview of what I'm thinking we're gonna do over the fi next five weeks. Uh, I wanted to actually do three practice problems um, from section 4.6 on my iPad. Those are the pages I'm gonna be doing, 220 and 222. So um, you can find those in your packet when we get there. I wanna go over how you are going to turn things into me, including how we're gonna deal with um, makeup work because some people need to turn in makeup work. You've got papers and stuff that you need to show me um, to be able to, to get grades up. Um, you do have homework that is due on Thursday and I want to go over office hours and the virtual lab that we're going to be um, starting on Thursday. So first off, uh, for right now until I coordinate with your other teachers, our time is gonna be 10 to 10.45. I'm always gonna record these sessions and I will load them up onto uh, YouTube. If for some reason something happens and you can't make a class, then what I am asking you to do is to um, just email me uh, or pop into office hours and we'll figure it out from there. Um, your Edpuzzle videos are still gonna be up and open. That's still something you're gonna to have to do every single week. Um, so the next one actually is open for you right now. Um, and we're going to enter a section of time period where these are some of the videos that I did, uh, last year, um, and the year before, but when I haven't done a video, honestly, I'm using somebody else's cause I'm already doing way too much right now to record my own new videos. Um, but you've still got to add puzzle every single week. So keep up with that. We are finishing up the reactions unit this week. So we are finishing up with this very last section and then moving on from there, which means that we're starting that new packet of stuff that I gave you, um, which hopefully everybody got that new packet. I know there was a couple of people um, who weren't in class. Um, we're gonna start that new stuff next week, which does mean that you will need to get started with the 5.1 reading guide, which I'll talk about at the end of class. Um, there's going to be a lot more, since classes are shorter, I'm actually pushing a lot more on you to get more stuff out of the reading guides. Um, but the nice thing is, is that this atomic theory stuff is one, it's a little bit more conceptual. Um, some portions of it are less mathy. Uh, it's kind of review. It's like, what's the structure of an atom? You kind of already know that. Um, so, and then we'll just use class time for me to go over the highlights. Uh, you are still turning in all the paper assignments. So all of those homework assignments that are in that packet of stuff I gave you, you are still gonna turn in to me, um, but you're gonna turn it in two ways. So it's easiest for me to grade it if you type in the answers into the uh, Google Forms that I'm gonna create for each assignment, but I still need to see your actual work. So you're still gonna turn in scanned images of that paper to me. Um, because it's easier for me to correct it that way. And then I can give you the corrected assignment back as a link in a comment on uh, Aspen, on the assignment on Aspen. So you can always look back and see your work um, that, I've, that I've marked up. So we'll go over that um, several more times before everybody needs to do that. Um, I brought home, you can see the periodic table behind me, but I also want to show you that giant box behind me um, is a giant box worth of stuff that I brought home from the school yesterday um, to be able to do stuff. Uh, I don't have a smoke alarm here in my basement, so I'm, I brought home my blowtorch and alcohol burner, um, and I'm still gonna do some stuff for you. Um, so I'm, I'm still gonna figure all that out. Uh, but the main thing through all of this is I, we need to communicate because I can't see you um, you can't pop into my room whenever you want and ask me a question. So the most important thing for you over this next five weeks, 
with not just me, but all of your teachers is going to be to communicate. So if you are not somebody who regularly checks email, you need to become somebody who regularly checks email. Um, or whatever other system works for you. So I know I turned the, um, the replies on on Remind, but that means like you actually need to watch it um, for my messages, for your messages from anybody. And if anything pops up, because this is a very fluid situation, especially um, with everybody's families at home and everything like that, like if something changes, you need to tell me. Um, and that way we'll just make sure that everybody's good to go. Can you send out your Remind code again? My remind. Stuff. Yeah, it's easy. I'll do it literally right now. It's at Baskin Hun. Um, and you send the message to 81010. And for anybody who is not getting um, or is not able to do replies, apparently um, it has to do with what birthday you entered because I've turned it on, which means you should have it on. And if you entered some random birthday when you first made your account, it may not let you because it may think you're too young. <laughs> so you should check that. Some people have actually um, had to go back and redo their account <laughs> for that reason. So just so you know. Okay. So um let's switch to the practice problem so section 4.6 again it was the guy that looks looks like this all right um page 220 and i'm gonna do them on um i'm gonna do them on my ipad so give me a second to switch There we go. All right, Did everybody see that? Yay, okay. Okay, um, so these are a couple of problems that are exactly like um, the ones that are on your homework. So I wanted to do those. And if you see over to the side, um, I just clipped a picture. Um, of table 4.6.1, uh, which is where all of the specific heats were in the problems um, in that section. So you can, you can see it there. So this first question says, a piece of iron metal initially at a room temperature of 21.5 degrees Celsius left on the window ledge, sunny day, it absorbs 864 joules of heat and warms to 32.5. What is the mass of iron? Okay, so we're using Q equals M times C times delta T. Um, Ms. Bat, Ms. Bat, I don't think I have that. Yeah, can you, can you show what the paper looks like? <laughs> yeah, please. I can't find it. What is that? Yeah, I don't know where it is. Um, oh, it's 4.6 and it's so, page number none of y'all. Oh, 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 oh. 4.6. So, 220. The page is 220. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got she's, it. All oh. she's doing, she's showing number two. She's not showing number one. It's the practice problems. Calculation okay. of heat changes. Okay, it just. Oh, oh. I think you can email me a PDF. Yeah. You don't have it. Yeah. No, Jameer, I'm I'm done. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um. Why don't you ever have your stuff? All right. <laughs> I have it. Like, hey, come on now. Push the. It's always been like that. Okay. I am. I'm gonna mute you guys all again. Um, <laughs> Jesus, okay. Uh, all right, so <laughs> again, um, do we have Q in this problem? Somebody pipe up. What is Q? Yeah. Who is the, what yes, the, we have Q. Yes, what is it? I don't understand this unit at all. Three, okay, 398 this program. All right, it's this guy. That's Q. What? Can you explain what the Q is, like real quick? Like, what is it? Q? Heat or heat energy? Okay, that's it. Like that's. So how is me how is metal and heat energy? Um, never mind. I'm retarded. Sorry. No, you're not. But all right. <laughs> okay, so. Yes, you can heat up metal, you can heat up anything, and the amount of heat required to do that is what Q is. So I've got a Q. Do I have an M? Do I have a mass? 
No, because that's what it's asking me for. So that's what I'm going to be solving for. Um, do I have a, a C? And again, C is specific heat. And I don't... The 32.5 the degrees Celsius? No, that's over here. Okay, so these are the specific heat capacities, right? So I'm mm -hmm. looking at iron, so that is this. So that's my C. I can't see what that chart says. Can you tell me the numbers? Uh, 0. 0.448. Okay. Thank you. And then the delta T, remember delta T is temperature final minus temperature initial. So those I have. So what was my my final temperature? 32.5 degrees Celsius. Yep. So that's my temperature final. And so that means this 21.5 must be my temperature initial. So I can go ahead and plug those in. Uh, 32.5 minus, whoops, um, minus 21.5. Uh, that's going to give me a temperature change of 11 um, degrees Celsius. So then if I'm plugging in, I've got Q equals MC delta T. I'm trying to find M. So if I rearrange this, M is going to be equal to Q over C delta T. That's straight algebra. <laughs> I am assuming uh, that you can rearrange the equation for that. So if I plug those numbers in, 862.4 divided by, open a parenthesis, because I've got two things in my denominator. So when you're dividing with two things in the denominator, you got to make sure to use parentheses in your calculator. Uh, C from the chart over there is 0.448 times that delta T which was 11. So from all the original numbers up here in the problem, how many sig figs should I have? Three. Three, three. yes. Okay, so to three sig figs, if you plug that in your calculator, don't shout it out, somebody put the answer in the chat window. All right, are we in agreement? If you do it right in your calculator, you should get 175 grams. So that is correct. So for this second problem, um, let's see here, same thing. Um, okay, so for the second problem, notice that. there we go. So it says a 75.45 gram sample of silicon. So that to me sounds like a mass. Uh, initially at 20.5, so that's a TI, absorbs 1,326 joules of heat. So between the J for joules and the word heat, that lets you know that's a Q. What is the final temperature? So the question here is asking me for TF of that sample. So since I'm talking about silicon, silicon over here on the right is 0.703 is what the C equals. That's what it tells me. So here I am looking for a part of this delta T. So there's two different ways algebraically you can figure this out. You can actually um, bust out the delta T and put in the TF minus TI and do all of that, or you can just solve for delta T. Um, algebraically, it works fine either single way. So I'm going to plug in Q, M, and C and solve for delta T first. So if I rearrange this equation for that, my basic algebra tells me that this is Q over M times C. The Q was 1,326 open a parenthesis again because I've got two things in my denominator. Um, my mass is 
My C is 0 0.703. And Ms. Baskin? Yes. Um, where can we find this chart? Do we have that? Yes, it's in section 4.6. So it's, I think, uh, one or two pages before where this problem is, like 219 or something. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I cut and paste it and put it on this image so we wouldn't have to flip. It's page 217. 217, thank you. Okay, so looking at all of this, because my specific heat has only three sig figs, um, my delta T here should also only have three sig figs. Uh, so three sig figs here, somebody figure out what that delta T is. And again, put it in the chat window, don't call it out. Oh, thank you, Kamaya. We got 25.0. It's again the change in temperature. So if I initially was at 20.5, what would the final temperature be? Well, I would have to add that to it. And I get 45.5. So does that, that's, that's working your basic Q equals MCAT formula. Can you explain that plus 20 point real quick? Like why you did that real quick, just for clarification? Yeah. Sure. So if the formula for the change in temperature is temperature final minus temperature initial, and I'm looking for temperature final, that means I'm going to have to add the initial temperature to both sides which is what so I that temperature that we found the first time it wasn't our it was just delta t it wasn't our temperature in um, final right correct yeah okay yep because the formula has the the triangle in it thank Ms. you Bastian. um andy can't see your screen you're like your iPad screen That's yeah weird is it black is it black no it just shows her face and us it doesn't show the ipad screen is he scrolled all the way over yeah. Are you on like a computer or something? I think you probably press the thing that says swap share screen with video. It's like go to the top or I don't know how it looks on your Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's probably in the more section or wherever it is. It's like a, it's like a, is he on mute? There's a thing at the top of your screen that says you're viewing uh, Miss Baskin's screen or if you're not, it won't say that. There's a thing there on the screen I can't that says view options. And you can press that, and you can. Oh, there she goes. I'm on side by side mode, and I can see it. So, um, you got it. it you got it. Cool. On a okay. Thing. Wow. Okay. So, let's move on to the next problem. This was uh, page two twenty two, and it's problem one. Back to muting you all. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this is that harder problem, um, and it's a harder problem just because it's a little bit more algebra, but this is when you combine two different things, and this is more similar to what we're going to be doing in um, the virtual lab on Thursday. So marking this thing up, um, okay, so I've got a 29.65 gram so that's a mass of solid gold and i'm going to look over here and i see gold so i know that that means it's got a specific heat of 0.129 and it's at 33.5 degrees so that's its initial temperature it falls into your cup of coffee um, and that cup of coffee then is 245.0 milliliters and it's at 65.5 degrees so that's its initial temperature um, it says use the information in this chart over here to determine the final temperature so that's what i am trying to find is a tf and since i'm combining two different things one hot, one cold, we know that they're gonna reach a thermal equilibrium. They're gonna end up at the same temperature. And then nicely here, it says, assume the specific heat capacity and density of the coffee is the same as water. 
So remember in the video that was due last night, I said the nice thing about the density of water is you can assume that the volume is the mass. So that 245.0 milliliters is 245.0 grams because the density is one milliliter equals one gram. So that's lovely. And it says use the specific heat of water and our specific heat of water, we're just gonna use 4.184. And pretty much almost any time you have any sort of liquid, whether it's a just water or solution or coffee or tea or anything like that, we just assume it's 4.184 for water. Okay, so this is similar to the problem that I um, kind of rushed through uh, the end of the notes here. Um, in a previous class. So the thing to remember is that the temperature of, or the, the heat from the gold earring is gonna be equal to the opposite sign of the temperature of, or of the heat of the coffee, right? Because they're gonna end up at this equilibrium, which means that there is an equality there. So I'm not solving for Q, but what I do have is I have the mass of the gold, I have the specific heat of the gold, and I have the temperature final, which is what I'm looking for, and I have a temperature initial. And I can set all of that equal to the mass of the coffee times the specific heat of the coffee times the temperature final would be the same for both of them because they're gonna end up at that equilibrium and I have their initial temperature. So I can plug in all of these values and do a whole lot of algebra and solve for my TF. So if I plug those in, my mass 29.65 times 0.129 times, I'm gonna say X for TF, cause I don't know it, minus 33.5 equals, a negative here, 245.0 times 4.184 times my X, because I don't know it, and they are the same X. You gotta remember that. And now this is just hard slogging through algebra. It's not actually difficult, but you gotta remember that you need to combine these two numbers first before you distribute across the parentheses, all right? And then same thing on the other side. So um, if I multiply those two things together, I think I get, let me pull my calculator out. Uh, so 29.65 times 0.129. So I get 3.82 times, that would be my x, minus 33.5. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So combine these two before I distribute across, All right? So 245 times 4.184. Um, confused. You're what? Kennedy's confused. Kennedy's confused? What are you confused about? I'm just multiplying some numbers. I'm confused too. I oh, know you did not do that, Jana. Dana is confused too. I'm not confused. Crash, boom, bang. Okay. So are we confused about why I set these two things equal to each other or what I'm doing with the algebra? So to be to be sure, so we're finding the Q, we don't have okay. Never mind. No, Q? we are we are finding the final temperature. Correct. So it's basically like the same thing. We just set Q. Hold on. I'm going to put this in words. We just set Q above, basically. Like, we are setting two Q problems equal to each other because the heat lost from the coffee has to go into the earring. So I'm using the fact that those two things are connected to be able to solve the problem. I got you. Okay. 
So, and the only key here is that you have to have this negative sign here, which is showing that the coffee was hot and is exothermic and is losing its heat to okay. the gold earring. That that's what makes this work algebraically. So the 3.82 is just these two numbers multiplied together. That's what this number is. And the uh, negative 1025 is just these two numbers up here multiplied together. And then I start distributing across my parentheses. So if that's 3.82, well, then it would be 3.82x minus 3.82 times a negative 33.5, which would be a negative, uh, let me see, a 3.82 times 33.5, negative, I'm going to keep it to three, say fig, negative 128. And then the same thing, I am going to distribute this across to those. So that's just going to be a negative 1,025x. And now please note that I've got a negative and a negative, which is going to make this a positive number, right? If you don't believe me, do it in your calculator. Negative 1,025 times uh, negative 65.5 gives you a positive, uh, and that's a big number, right? Six, seven, one, three, eight, and I'm just doing goofy rounding here at the moment. And I want to solve for x. So what I'm going to do is since this is a negative, I'm going to add 1,025 x to each side. And that will allow this to cancel out. So that's going to be then 1,028 point eight two x, right? Because that's a big number and a small number. And then the other thing is, since this is a negative 128, I want to add 128 on each side. That cancels those out. And then the 6, 6, 7, 1, 3, 8 plus 128 gives me uh, on the right hand side, 6, 7, 2, 6, 6. Now solving for x is easy. I just divide both sides. By that. Divided by one zero two eight point eight two, and I get sixty five point four, essentially. So, if you will notice, how much did uh, how much did the temperature of the coffee drop? Point one. Point one. Point one. And that should make sense. If you look at the original specific heats, 0.129 compared to 4.184, yeah, the temperature of the metal is going to change much, much more than the temperature of the liquid here. That should make sense. Um, this is essentially the hardest kind of problem with calorimetry. Um, I mean, that's that's it. Um, I've done two of these problems now for you because you have another one on your calorimetry notes that we did, um, just so you know, so that you, you have something else to look back to. Um, so I do want to switch back because we're about uh, done with time and finish batch up. So Next class period, you do have something due for me. <laughs> so I quickly want to go over how I want you to turn in work. I need PDFs, not image files. Um, JPEGs, it's hard for me to annotate and make corrections on, but PDFs, I, it's much easier uh, for me to do that on my um, iPad with my, um, with my pencil. So to get a PDF file, for those of you who have those printer scanner combos at home, you can just scan it and make a PDF. Um, but if you don't, then you need a certain software to be able to do that. And the easiest ones that are free are the ones that I, I linked to in the, um, the plan I sent over the weekend. 
a cam scanner or a genius scan. Um, they're really easy to use, but it would allow you to take a picture from the, the front, you know, like so you can take with your phone, you can take a picture of the front side of your worksheet and then turn it over, take a picture of the back side, and it will save it as one file front and back instead of sending me two different files and that's my preference um, and then if we can get to some sort of systematic naming of any file you send me please actually change the name of any file to something that is your name um, nobody here has uh, last names that are duplicative so first initial last name works great and then just the name of the assignment and I know that there's a fair number of people who are missing um, paper assignments um, so if you have missing work that you owe me this is the same way that I'll want to get those assignments um, so for Thursday the 4.6 homework is due on Thursday. You should be able to do it based on the notes and everything that you've got. And there is a Google form link that was on that uh, weekly plan document that I've already sent you where you can type in your answers and send that and then also give me the PDF file. I need both of those things if you want full credit um, because I need to be able to see your work and I want to be able to make corrections on your work. Um, I will have that link again um, on Thursday. I will give it to you again, um, but it should be on that weekly plan. Um, and you need to make sure that that weekly plan, you are very familiar with it because that is, that is what I'm basing everything off of. Um, I do have sets of office hours this week. So your office hours that are for honors only, um, is Wednesdays and Fridays from one to two. So I will just have the Zoom room open. Um, it's this exact same link for all of my stuff and you can just pop in if you have any questions. So this is like for those people when you want to ask me if you're doing something correctly, you know, pop in in the morning or during advisory sort of thing. This is that same sort of time period. It's set aside just for you. But then I also have open office hours that are a little later for some people in case you have a conflict um, from four to five. Just know that um, people from other classes may be popping in as well. And it could be, uh, it could take me a minute to get and answer your question. Um, on Thursday, we're going to go over the virtual lab, which we'll, we'll kind of go over how to do it in class, um, but you're actually going to do it on your own, but I want to make sure you know how to access it, how to play around with the controls, what it looks like, that sort of thing. Um, this virtual lab is going to be your assessment grade. Um, instead of doing a quiz, we're just going to count it for this. So um, it's a pretty long lab. Uh, if I remember correctly, it's about 40 points, which is the same as a quiz. So for some people whose assessment score is sitting kind of low, a good lab grade here is going to be what you're looking for to pull your grade back up. Um, otherwise, uh, the last thing is, you know, I'm, I'm doing just a uh, wind down a chill chill time from uh, five to six on Wednesdays in my Zoom room for anybody who just wants to pop in. I'll have some music on. I'll probably be coloring, working on a jigsaw puzzle, something like that. For those people who are really kind of <laughs> craving interaction with other people, um, I'm, I'm going to open up my Zoom room to, to allow you guys to do that. And that is that is it. So at this point, does anybody have any questions? Otherwise, class is over and uh, you can go ahead and log out as you want. I will, um, when this recording is over with, I will pop it on to YouTube and send out the link later so you can look back at my work. I have one question. Oh, oh yeah, this is, this is going to be. Okay, so. <laughs> <laughs> May I use the bathroom? <laughs> Girl, bye. <laughs> Happy belated birthday, Kennedy's grandma. Wait, how you do that? <laughs> bye, Miss Baskin. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Happy belated birthday. How do you leave? See you Thursday. Bye. Um, bye. 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 y'all work, man. Get on in. I'm going to check your text messages. <laughs> What's good in this class? I'm Josh. We just had a conversation with that. All right, yeah, oh. Josh, the only thing that's due, 4.6 homework, we'll just, it's due by the end of the day on Thursday. Question. 
Yes, ma'am. Oh, wait, I forgot. Oh, yeah. So when's the lab going to be due? Uh, I'm going to make it due on Monday, but I'm going to go over on Thursday how you guys um, can actually, because once you have Zoom, once you have Zoom, you can make free Zoom accounts. You guys could actually set up small little lab groups on your own and all run the simulation at the same time if you want um, and, and do the lab in oh. lab groups like you normally do um, and, and work on your calculations and stuff together. So that's, that's what I was going to kind of go over on Thursday so you could still get that. Um, so you're not doing it totally on your own. <laughs> Okay, that makes sense. Thank you. Uh -huh. Wait, so we can we um, leave now? Yeah, you can leave now. Can we leave? Do we turn in uh, missing work the same way? Yes. So I know a lot of people are missing um, sections of reading guides or whatever. You know, just give me those those images. Uh, some people are missing the four point four homework or anything like that. Yeah, just. Um, just scan it or PDFs uh, of any of the missing work. I'll, you can just give me those straight documents instead of trying to do a um, enter it in on a Google form or whatever. So, but reading guides, I know 4.4, and then there's a handful of older stuff. But th those are the main things that that some people still need to turn in. Okay. So next time we see you is Thursday, right? Yes, unless you have a question and want to pop in on office hours. Yes. So office hours are on Zoom. Yes. Yeah. So it's this. Can I'm, you send like I'm, a screenshot of the office hours? Sorry. Did Sorry, you I'm get my ahead. weekly plan? Yes. Okay, it's on there. Is it on there? Yeah. Oh. Wednesdays, Yay. Wednesdays and Fridays. Okay. Cool. Cause I'll be I'll be there tomorrow because this homework. Remember, I wasn't really there for the unit, but it's not yeah. hard. But still. No. No, it's it's it not too bad. Is. Ew, Jameer. All right, um, Jameer, what do you need PDFs of? Um, what you just did, because I do not have it. Do you have the four point six homework? I'll just send you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God, hi, Sunia. I didn't know she was here. Yeah, Sunia popped in. Yo, dancers, can we make a a, a joint joint? Because uh, y'all need to explain this. Yes, to please. I don't know these fortifications or the framework. I can sing about it about so hard. Camcord, but sure, we can do that too. I was talking about for the camcord, but yeah, modern. Yes, everything. Two, uh, everything. I'm so confused. Thank you. Thought I was the only one. Uh, yeah. okay. I was talking if about anybody, for the camcord, Ariana. I know. I know, if anybody needs you. help, I think I understand it. So, like, yeah. Okay, great. I can try to help. What are your office hours? What are your office hours, Johanna? What are your office hours? Just, wait, can you, like, send messages on Zoom? Like, could anybody send me a message on Zoom? Is that a thing that people can do? So, Let's see if we got I don't know Anybody can show. make a free account, and on a free account, you can host a 40-minute meeting. So okay. The, the other thing we can do is if people want to coordinate and all come um, to a set of office hours, like during my time, um, I can set up a breakout room and shove a, a handful of people together all in a room, um, basically. So then you guys could, you know, work together in a smaller group as opposed to the almost 40 of us when it's all of us together, which, which can be a little overwhelming. So I can do that as well. Okay. Does anybody want my email to contact me? Because then I'll like send it to you in a chat now. Yeah, I think they're saying yes, please. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I saw Jada being like, <laughs> um, what was the question? Is there is your email connected to your uh, your phone message thing? Uh, my email? No, Johanna's. Did she just do oh. it? Oh no, she's right there. Oh, she's typing it. I see. Yeah, I guess I'll find out. There you go, Miss Baskin. Yes. So you said with the naming thing, I have a hyphenated email? last name. Hold on, where is the email? It's right there. It's at the bottom. No, it's, or I mean, she sent it to some, everybody. Yeah, yeah. and Just some comment. people have my number, so like, I mean, if you want to email me and be like, "Can I have your phone number?" That's also. Yeah. Just as long as somebody has it, I can ask somebody. Um. So. Eliora, you can just um, 
Yeah, to name your stuff, you can just be E. Brown if you want, or you can do the hyphen name. It doesn't matter to me. I, it doesn't matter? No, you're my only Brown, so it's fine. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't have a lot of over overlapping names this year. How exciting. Um, well, Heather Davis? Or like, whose mm. child is that? Oh, that's, uh, that's Maggie. Uh, oh, oh, okay. The, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know who that is. Yep. Bye, everyone. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. I'm loving all these head wraps and scars, y'all. It's giving. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm going to start kicking you guys out because I've got uh, office hours starting for my AP class in five minutes. Okay, bye, bye Ms. Blaskin. Thank bye. you. Bye. Bye. How do you nice, do you nice do you fish. Think? Yeah, I think it's from like New Orleans or something, but I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, let's see. Here. How do you leave? <laughs> there should be in red somewhere on your screen where it says leave meeting. Bottom, maybe? Oh, I see it. Bye. Ooh, bye.